Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here. In this part of the series, part 7, we're going to really zoom ahead and pick up the pace and get the whole thing done. So you can see here we have the volume slider, we have the playhead dragger, you can click anywhere in that playhead, jump to that part of the song, the list is complete, we're showing song data here of the current song that's playing, we have a pause, play, toggle button, stop button, next, previous buttons, works beautifully. And the buttons are really set up smart the way they should to loop throughout the list. And we have a graphic equalizer. I chose to put the status text up in the equalizer there. You can remove and add things that you need. And this is the kind of player that has everything you need externally configured that way it can be used for all kind of situations. Whether you're hosting a community and you want all of the members different mp3s to play through this thing if you know how to program with PHP it can be quite easy for you so and you can also use it on your personal website just as a cool player design it set your XML configuration file up boom you're good to go okay now and it's also handy to note that somebody who doesn't even have flash could just pick up this file and use this thing on their website using the external XML configuration file to tweak it what it's going to play, what the, everything is named, everything like that. Now we're going to save ourselves a lot of time here and zoom through the next parts of the lesson because we already have most of it laid out. If you go to develop PHP, the Adobe Flash section, there's video tutorials and free files and stuff and you go down to the sound and mp3 section here. You'll see I have tutorials, previous tutorials set up and source files. I'm going to grab this boom box here download it to my desktop and then use a lot of the items that are programmed into this thing into our new player okay so let's open up that boom box which is right here we downloaded it let's open the source file into flash very good now let's open part six so now we can finish this thing up. Let's go here. Part 6. Right there. Now, since I've made since I programmed my players similarly, you can see that this one, if you go inside, it has a whole player movie clip as well, and it's a very similar setup. There's three frames that power the application. So, in our playlist player, there's a whole player movie clip inside. Hey, look at that. There's three frames that power the application, but very different programming. Well, not, not wildly different, but there's different programming set up to power this playlist. You'll notice that the boom box has no playlist. It just shows the current track playing there. And you have to click forward and back to get through all of them. If there's 50 in there, that'll be a problem. With the playlist player, if there's 50, it's not a problem. So there's different programming, but we can easily chintz code from this one and put it into this one. And you guys, really, you can go right now and just have a ball probably, but I'm going to guide a few people that might need help through adding these items to the other player. All right, the first item that I'm going to take and use, uh, first items are these three buttons here. So let's press Control C, go to our, our playlist player, and let's press Control V on the layer where we want to put it. Let's put it with the player stuff. Control V. Alrighty. Let's just grab everything we need. Let's grab the volume slider. We also want the song durations. Let's grab that. And yeah, we can grab the amounts as well. And what else do we need? Let's grab this uh, playhead dragger. That way people can drag the playhead. And this current song playing. I'm, I don't think I'm going to grab that scrolling current song playing movie clip. I think that's all I want. Control C. I'm going to go here. Player stuff. Control V. Right. Now we got all kind of cool items. And it looked like they might fit in place real nice too. 
So I'm going to fit all of these things into place on my player, get it looking the way I want. Okay, now I've got all of my items in place where I want them. And in the code, I also added the status text field to update when the list went automatically to a new song, it updates the status text field now. And adding this code right here, right after you define the new track to play, you could just update the status text field inside of that new track function for each section in the if and the else. See? Status text. And status text is updated now. Now, since the main priority of this whole lesson has been how to program the list and we have now completed that task way in depth I mean I went like six parts to it where I was showing you how to just program that playlist pretty much and well the part six was the graphic equalizer tutorial but that needed to be shown in depth as well now with the rest of the stuff we can fly because it's all stuff that was in our boombox player and I'm just gonna snatch up code like for instance the code that's going to make this playhead dragger and show the song progress that's all set up and ready to go the volume dragger all set up and ready to go the only thing we have to worry about is the differences in the next and forward buttons and this play and pause has the pause set up in it so this is a play button that when you click it if it's playing it'll show pause if you click it, it pauses the song. Then if you click it again, it resumes the song. So it's smarter to have a play pause toggling kind of, kind of button instead of having a play button and then a pause button sitting next to it because most modern players have a play pause toggle type button. So that's all we have to worry about is really the stop buttons already programmed. All we have to do is program these three things a little bit differently than the boom box is programmed but like I said the volume dragger and the song playhead and adding the information to these dynamic text fields is already taken care of for us through the code in the uh, boom box now I'm gonna chintz a lot of this code here and then I'm gonna explain it we'll get all these things working inside of this mp3 playlist player and we'll call it quits in part 7 here we'll be done okay now I want to show the playing time and the full duration time of each song that happens to be playing. So I'm going to add code into that enter frame event again, right here under where the volume functionality is happening. And there it is. And you can see under the volume code, there's two sections here one for getting the full time of the song, the full duration of the song playing, and the next is for getting the playtime of the song which is where it is within the song so this should all work and be set up because we're using the same sound object code yes yes everything good and the, all the text fields are ready here on stage for that so let's see if that works press control enter see it's 59 seconds that one song and you can see how it's changing dynamically in the enter frame event of how much the song has progressed. You go to the next song or any song in the list. That one's only 15 seconds long. So that's all working. Now next thing on my agenda is to get that progress bar and the playhead dragger, the scrubber, working. So let's go into that, back into that enter frame event here. We're going to put one more section in for that. Let's go down a couple of lines. And there it is. Starting right here to right there. That code will take care of the playhead dragger and the progress bar. Now let's see. Okay, so I wanted to get my playhead scrubber and the progress bar to operate. So what I did was went into the enter frame event where we have the EQ bars and everything going, the volume dragger. And what we needed to put in was something to make the progress bar move along 
as the song progressed. And so I added these lines from the boombox. Then I added a whole new function outside of the enter frame event function. And this is a dragging code for the scrubber and the playhead. Now we have a function drag scrub and function drop scrub. So each of these functions handle what happens when somebody's dragging and dropping that scrubber right here. So when I drag it, and I, I programmed in a cool ghost knob in to the boom box, it'll be in this one too. So the ghost knob shows them where they're going to drop when they get ready to drop. When they let go, it snaps to that part of the song. Pretty cool. So what we do is inside of those functions is actually you can read the code because I commented out the code pretty good. I'm not going to waste your time and I have a lot of other things to do. So just read the comments in the code and track to play is the only thing I had to add to make it work for our playlist. See, I added that one line but this drop scrub and drag scrub function and these listeners and these few variables here are the same from the boombox. So you can see what kind of variables I'm setting up and on frame one I had to add is playing a boolean variable and I just set it to false because it's not going to be playing on frame one but when it gets to frame three I added right here is playing equals true right after we set the song to start playing that takes care of the scrubber and the progress okay everything's working beautifully so far it seems easy to take things from the other player and put them into this one since the sound programming is very much the same now all the thing I have left to do is make this play pause toggle button work and the forward and back buttons make the songs go up and down in the list in the list component and make them play so I'm gonna tackle this pl play pause button first let's go into the code and independent of any of these other functions we can put this new one in. There's the stop button listener. So let's go right there. Right under it. And here's play and pause function. Now let's see if everything is set up right to just work right out the box here. I took it straight from the boombox code. Let's see. does not work we have an instance name of play underscore btn I'm a dope <sighs> let me go get the listeners stupid uh, the listener for the play button which we don't have and there they are let's just grab all three of those because we're going to need them Let's grab that title, button listeners. And let's go back in. And I'm going to leave this little goof up in the video so you can see. Where should I put the listeners? Let's set the listeners down under the button functions. Under the stop button function, the play button function, I'm going to put the listeners there. And I'm going to comment these two out because we're not ready for them just yet. We just want to get that play and pause button working. Alright, let's tackle making this next button work, which is going to be very easy because we already have a function for making it go to the next song. So let's uncomment. <clears throat> let's see, let's make sure this is click. Mouse event click. Instead of going to new track, let's go to a function called play next. Now let's create that function really quick. Let's see, let's just grab this. Yeah, let's grab the whole title and everything so we can label it correctly. Nest it off. And inside that function nest, I'm going to add new track. Just like we did in the onComplete playback function. And that's it. 
So that will be for the, make sure we rename this play next. Function play next. Play next button. Play next button function. And let's just go ahead and make another one really quick. This will be for the play previous. Now let's test out if our next button worked here. Let's remove that for now. So play next should fire off the function. See that? It'll go all the way through the list and then back to one, all the way through, back to one, all the way through. That one's working. Okay, so that completes it. I added the code here that is the previous play function. The next play function was easy, the next button, because we already had that new track function set up and ready to go. The previous button took a little more work, as you can see. That function is, let's see, it looks like about almost 50 lines. A few variables getting set in there, and I commented out the code really well, so I'm not going to explain it to you here. And plus, everybody's complaining this is all taking too long. So, you can just dig into the code for yourself, study it, get to know it, change it around however you need it. And I set up the now playing amount down here, I think under the listeners, right here. Place the track amount and current track number into our text field. So it says now playing song. Da -da 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 -da. And I chose to put our status text over here. So you can see what that does. See how the status changes there? Shows the song that's playing up top in the equalizer. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed this series, and we will see you in the next lesson.